So I finally got my front door painted and I really, really like it, but it feels like it's missing something. I want a wreath on my door. Um, as we all know, those nice pretty wreaths at the little craft stores can be fairly expensive and I'm pretty handy so I figured I would make one. But I wanted to challenge myself as opposed as opposed to going out and buying stuff to make the wreath I am going to challenge myself to make the wreath from things I already own so I'm here in my craft room um, my family well my husband actually um, shares this space with me I let him have a desk and his computer in here um, everything else is pretty much mine in this room um, but I'm going to go through my craft stuff and I'm going to figure out I'm going to make some type of door decoration. Alright, so let's kind of cruise around and see what, what I have in here. Oh, here it is. I have a pizza pan. Yes, it's new. I never used it. Dollar Tree pizza. Okay, we can work with that. Dollar Tree pizza pan in here. And flowers left over from Honey Badger's first birthday party. So I'm thinking I can. Use the pan, maybe put a decal on it, monogram, or I can do our whole last name. So yeah, maybe I can do like a big monogram here and the flowers. Be on the something. Let's see. I might, you know what? I can pop the flowers off of. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So if I just pop the flowers off. Oh man, this might work. Oh man, we cooking. We cooking with hot fish grease now. Yeah. Pan. I'm gonna go. All right, so I'm here at my painting station, which is actually an old hollow cord door that I put on my two sawhorses. I got my piece of pan, I got my primer, and I got the cheapest paint I could find at Walmart. So here we go. I created my monogram in Cricut Design Space and here I'm just cutting it and then you'll see me weed it and transfer it to the pizza pan. I also took the time to pluck all of the flowers off of the stems. I attempted to use the wet method when I transferred my monogram. It didn't really help. Uh, I'll probably try the wet method again at a later date, but I got my big letter transferred and I've peeled up and applied my welcome because, you know, I want people to feel welcome in my home. And here I am fighting with the world's ooziest 
hot glue gun <laughs> I need to get a new one like that thing is awful but it gets the job done for now and I'm just hot gluing the flowers on um, wherever I think they look best Now on the back, I used a piece of white ribbon and just hot glued it and here's the finished product. Um, this project was a lot more fun than I expected it to be and it came out a whole lot better than I expected. Um, hope that this inspires someone to be brave enough to try it on their own. Um, until next time, be safe. Bye bye.